Oh hi, I'm Mojo and today I'm going to help you survive your very first day in Eco. So let's get right to it. The very first thing you'll want to do is take a peek at the nutrition panel in the lower left corner. You'll be frequently using the info displayed here so it's so crucial to know what it all means. The pie chart represents your fat, vitamins, protein, and carbohydrates. You can hover over the pie chart to see the contents of your stomach and it'll give you a list of everything you ate. So for example, if I had pounded some elk wellington and a handful of wheat, it would say elk wellington and wheat. What you eat controls how many skill points you'll receive each day. From what I have experienced in the game early on, it is most important to just try to balance all four elements, by which I mean fat, protein, carbs, and vitamins, and as you kind of get access to higher quality foods in the game, as you are a great chef or you have a great chef in your community, it seems like balance is still a factor, but eating more advanced food with poor balance will still net you more skill points per day than lower quality food that is completely perfectly in balance. So, speaking of skill points, every time this blue bar on your nutrition panel fills up, you'll receive one skill point. The blue box on top of it with a number in it, that shows how many banked skill points you have at your disposal to spend on the skills of your choosing. The yellow bar shows your calories. These are gained from food as you would expect and they decrease a little over time no matter what, but of course they go a lot more quickly if you're working, for example, shoveling dirt or chopping down trees or mining stone. If you run out of calories, you will not be able to perform any more work and you'll need to eat to bring that back up. You won't die, you won't be unable to walk or anything like that, you just can't do anything too productive. So, once you get the nutrition stuff kind of understood, your first objective, unsurprisingly, is gonna revolve around food acquisition. There's corn, beets, camas, huckleberries, wheat, and beans, and they can all be gathered super readily and eaten without having to cook them or prepare them in any way. You can just grab them and eat them, which makes them super ideal for your first feast. To gather most of these, you just find them, walk up to them, and press E to gather. Uh, camas, which is like a bluish purple flower, however, is a little different. It will require a shovel to harvest it, which means you could invest your very first skill point into laborer. That's a great choice because doing that will automatically grant you the shovel tool and you can get camas, which I highly recommend, even above all the other food options. So in order to add that skill point, you're just gonna click on the blue box with the number in it that will bring up all your things you can spend skill points in, click on survival, and bim, bam, boom, you can get your shovel. So once your belly is full, you're probably going to want to turn your attention to shelter. Everyone likes to build. It's very fun to build in eco. And the most sensible material, in my opinion, to build your starter home out of is plain old logs. Go ahead and spend another skill point on logging. This will grant you an ax, which you can use to begin chopping trees. Notice that as you cut the trees, it costs calories, about 10 per swing. Most labor in eco does cost calories, so just keep up with your food intake. It's super important. If you run out, you run out of work. So once you fell the tree, just make sure to chop any branches off first. If there's still branches hanging on after it falls, you won't be able to chop it up into bits. And those bits are the logs. If you see the little slices, you can just pick them up with E. You'll be carrying them in your hand on the left of your bar there. You can hold up to 10 at a time. Uh, just simply right click on them until you have 10 in your hand. Then go find the perfect spot to build your perfect starter home. Hold the logs in your hand and just right click on the ground where you want to place each log. Don't worry if you mess up, you can pick a log back up just by swinging your axe at it and it'll go right back in your hand where it belongs. You can build your house, of course, any shape or size you like, but I highly recommend designing your initial house with the requirements of a workbench in mind. You're definitely gonna want that workbench to get started on your whole future in eco. To place a workbench, it has certain room requirements. So you'll need a room with a volume of at least 25 cubic blocks of interior space. 
So for example, it makes a lot of sense to build three blocks high and make the house exterior dimensions either five by seven or six by six. As you can see, I went with a six by six. And this is very important. In order for it to be considered an enclosed space or, or a room, you need to make sure your doorway is one wide too high and your windows are either two by one or one by one. If you try to make like a cute little square two by two window, it's, it's not gonna count as a room and your workbench is not going to work. So, in order to get your first workbench, go ahead and invest points in basic crafting. With the workbench in your toolbar, you should be able to place it in your home now. So, just use Q or E to rotate it any way you like, and then when you're ready to place it, click the right mouse button. And once it's placed, you walk up to it, you can press E to access all the insides. The workbench and pretty much all the other crafting items in Eco have four tabs, crafting, store, status, and storage. The crafting tab is kind of the main meat of it. It'll show you everything that you can make there, what it'll cost in order to make it, how long it'll take to make it. The store tab is for when you're ready to buy and sell. Don't worry too much about that today. The status tab will if you find your workbench isn't working right. It'll tell you why. Maybe your windows are too big, like I mentioned, or the room isn't technically considered an indoor space because your door is too tall, something like that. So the storage tab is where you can store whatever you want, but primarily things that you'll be using to craft items with. So maybe like a lot of wood and stone, but you could put anything in there. Additionally, anyone at all can add or remove things from the public storage However, the private storage is for your eyes only. Because of the great importance of food in Eco, it always comes back to food, right? The first thing you'll want to craft at your workbench, in my opinion, is the campfire. To make a campfire, you'll need stone. So access your skills again and invest a point into mining, which will give you a pickaxe, just like the shovel and everything else we did. Find some stone and hit it with your pickaxe it should crumble. So you would think that would be enough, but no, you need to get out your shovel now and then you can pick up that crumbled bit of stone and carry them back to your workbench, unfortunately one at a time. And when you have 10 stone, add 10 logs. And all you need to do when you have an item is just right click while it's in your hand on the workbench and that'll throw it right in the public storage. When you're ready to craft, just select the campfire tell it that you only want one because you only have enough materials to make one and then order it up once the campfire is done crafting it should appear in the storage tab of the workbench in your private storage so no one else can get it you can place your campfire on the ground either inside or outside I think it just makes more sense to put an open flame outside but if you want to be reckless that's your call but you will need fuel to cook anything with it at this point, logs are going to be your best bet in my opinion, but you could use coal or boards or arrows if you had access to something like that and probably even other things too. So it's at this point you'll want to put a point in campfire cooking skill. When you do that, you can now cook camas and beans if you've been lucky enough to find any. Uh, in particular, I recommend cooking up your camas because the nutrition it provides is one of the better ones available to you at this stage in the game. I mean, the cooked camas has at least a little bit of all four of the macronutrients. And at this point in the game, I don't think you're going to have access to anything else that does that. And as you can see, if you compare the cooked food to the uncooked food, it's worth more nutrient and it fills your belly faster because there's more calories. Oh, and a bonus tip, before you log out when you're done for the day playing Eco, make absolutely sure you fill your calories up as much as you can with the best possible balance of food you can. As long as you never run out of calories, you'll still keep accumulating skill points no matter what, whether you're logged in or logged out. So assuming your server is still online, you'll still gather skill points while you're sleeping or eating or working out. Even so, they will slowly depreciate whether you're logged in or out, but this keeps you from running out like super quickly because you logged out with kind of a small amount anyway. So 
Another bonus tip if it's super important to you to keep pace with all your friends who are really hardcore and always on the server working, if you can't log in for a couple days, one thing you could do to keep up with your skill points is just to take a couple minutes every day to log in just to eat. Just fill up your belly as best as you can and log right back out. That way you'll keep earning skill points and as soon as you're ready to play again in a day or two, you can just start spending your skill points like you never missed out on anything. It's a good tip. It's a very good tip. So that's all the basics that should help you figure out how to get started on your eco server your very first day. Uh, from there, what happens next is up to you. You can expand on your house, perhaps put a skill point in hunting, which will give you the ability to craft arrows, and it'll give you a bow, and you can take down some turkeys, some elk, other animals, and you can experiment with cooking them and eating them and seeing how that affects your points and your nutrition. Or you could get to work on a on research. You could make a research table and start looking at some technological advancements to help save the world. Uh, the world really is your oyster at this point. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you found this helpful. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next time.